Hello, and welcome back to LT Plays Fallout 4. This is part 64 on the ongoing series. Hey, so I decided, you know what, let's finish off the disappearing act, so we need to explore Earl Grey's house. I guess before that, we actually technically need to finish up the hallucinogen quest, but that should only take a second. I'm just turning in the quest. After I turn that in, then I can go finish off elsewhere. So this must be the heavy robot armor. Um... I only ever got the regular robot armor, but I do like how that helmet looks uh, in the sense that I have no idea how someone would see through it. I don't know how it works. <laughs> uh, I think it's a really bad idea. All right, so I need to go from something. Welcome home. to here. Nope. Hotel Rexford. I'm going to Hotel Rexford. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Get my stuff in here. Give my, uh, stuff. Get my reward. Hopefully I trigger the, um, perk that gives me extra experience. You're back! How was hallucinogen? Find me something good. Found this gas canister. Seems <laughs> potent. Awesome! We'll have to be careful with it. Break down the compounds and all that, but that's my worry. For your part, only thing left is to get paid. Here you go, as promised. Anyway, do you want to pick anything up? Homebrewed chems right here. Uh, barter. Sure. And I'll sell Let's him the chems I got. Everything's been tested personally. I don't know if I should feel uh good about that. Okay, so. I will sell off what I have. I'm pretty sure I have the truly. Yeah, so 32,000 caps. Um, drugged water. He seems like he'd enjoy that. I'm glad I could help him. Bon on a stick. Jet. Mentats. Nuke cherry. Psycho. He actually has a good amount of money, which is really nice. Okay, that's everything. And exit. And now I've already done my sailing. My sailing. I've already done everything. So next, uh, I need to go to his house. Earl Grey. Not Earl Grey. That's a T. Silly goose. Earl Sterling. Who's probably gray-skinned. Let's be honest. Because he's probably dead by this point i don't mean to be negative but <laughs> let's be honest with ourselves he's passively dead i don't know man this game does not tend to be super cheery so like i'd kind of just assume the worst at this point earl sterling's house oh, oh, oh. all right so, I had to look up where stuff was, because I couldn't figure it out. You go over to his couch. Oh, it just marked it this time. Oh, okay. I was in here for like uh, 10 minutes. Uh, Dr. Cro uh, Crocker, resident surgeon. Reconstruct it's a facial reconstruction surgery procedure to be formed upon Clint's final installment payment. It's a really girl. So, <sighs> investigate the mega surgery center. Now, the thing is, I suspect that he's a synth. I don't actually know, uh, because I haven't done this quest before. And even when I looked it up, I only looked up strictly enough to get the receipt. And I did not look for any more. Okay, so the Mega Surgery Center is here. Hi, Dr. Sun. Hey, Doc. We offer a wide variety of Why is there a blood splatter treatments. behind you, my Doc? Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. <laughs> He's a Looks doctor. Like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane, low risk cosmetic work. Low risk. Dr. Crocker Facial never cancer. performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be around eventually. Now, 
Let's get back to talking about your medical. He just needs. lights a cigarette, takes one puff, and then throws it away. <laughs> Gonna pass. All right. Excuse me. Had you been nice, would have done. What uh? Can you cut Buttercup front leg? It says zero zero zero. All right. So what does our quest marker say now? Investigate the Mega Surgery Center. Mega Surgery Center. Hmm. So we're just gonna follow the blood, you know, for some reason. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the Surgery Center basement. Should try and find a way down there. Relax with some cams. All right. The only thing I know how to do is pick locks. I'm glad I figured that out. Evidently, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know how to pick lock. Sweet. The surgery cellar. Da -da 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 -da. Earl. You've. You've really been a handful, you know. It's your mouth. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Did he kill oh, him? naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here. I'm but still that's hidden okay. From I can fix that. I can fix anything. Is he just going to attack me? What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Oh, no. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. Gee, many Christmas. So you were performing surgery and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? Oh. But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, Everyone would just think the Institute took him. Why would people think the Institute took Earl Sterling? Because everyone. That's what they do. That's what they've always done. As long as there's no body, everyone just assumes. And that's why Earl's body needs to go away. Shh. Christmas. This guy's crazy. So that's what you were doing. Cutting Earl's body up? You can't just get rid of 200 pounds of cadaver without attracting attention. Fortunately, oh, the butcher man. shop is close by. If their trash pile just happens to have an extra box of rotten meat every week, who would think to look too closely? Jeez. You really think you can get away with this? Get away with this? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm oh, Doc he's Crocker. He's got a god complex. Doc Crocker never does anything wrong. And once this is all over... No one will have any reason to question that. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. No. No one can find out. No one They're can find, find out. out. I'm just going to kill you. Man, tough fight. What's going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Take a look around for yourself. You'll figure it out. That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, yeah. and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. I don't have to convince him of anything. What are you going to do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations <laughs> to give to our patients. Doesn't seem you should get going. About what a medical professional should be the one to handle all this contamination. Nah, unfortunately, I need to loot the bodies because I'm a greedy person. Oh man, I can't take any of this. I'm so excited about that dirty water. Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. So, to be clear, Earl Sterling's head is not here, uh, that I see. And, he did not have a synth component, so he was not, in fact, a synth. 
All right, well, I gotta report back to Ellie. Reporting back to Ellie. Whoa. Better let him know that not a good day to be a detective today. I'll get experience for it. I also need to level up, uh, pick a new perk, which I always forget to do and end up oh. putting that off. You find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? Uh, I thought well, he was going to recap what was happening. Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend, for one. That, plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Rotting in the ground. It was either him or me. I had to put him down. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. You think this. that's bad, woman? You should see my Sounds regular like day. <laughs> I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout end know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. <laughs> yeah! I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, Nick? The case for Marty? I do. Some loony scheme to make off with a statue of a grasshopper or something. You're what? welcome to page through it if you'd like. It's in the folder on the cabinet. It's not... Yeah. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate mm. to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come on, hurt. Nick. Think of the good times. What, when he quit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> so, Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. It's like this. I'm, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. <laughs> He's cracking me up. That's hilarious. Okay, so it's a red storm. Red storms I don't really care for. I'm gonna level up before I forget again. Is there anything uh, that I can level up so that it's easy? No, I've got to choose a new perk. I mean, it's still pretty easy. I have a pretty good idea what I should choose. I should probably choose Bloody Mess, which is down here. Whereas Luck 3. Did I just give myself a lot of luck to begin with? Yeah, 5 luck, 5 strength, 10 intelligence. Or I could just start leveling up my different... Attributes, which is not a bad move either. Ooh, demolitions. Where was demolitions? Aw, oh, man, I gotta have more whatever this is. Perception. Well, maybe I should just start slowly getting all of my stuff to 10. So the max rank is technically, like, level 360-something, which is kind of ridiculous. Kind of crazy. Uh, life giver. 20 maximum health. Um... Was, there was another one that was just 20 armor or something. can't remember. Man, that sucks. Okay, well, my intelligence is all the way up. Uh, hacker, advanced terminals, science, chemist, robotics expert, nuclear physics, nerd rate. What is this? Blitz. Um, okay, so I think I'm just going to start do bloody mess. Just increase my damage. Either that or I should increase my... I think I'll start going up with Life Giver. Because it's just a good ability to have, in my opinion. Like, I don't lose anything by doing that. So, we need to listen to Marty's Hollow Tape. O M N O. Marty's. It was evidently in a folder. Fucking a vault, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. <laughs> Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but 
I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Feels like a setup. That's all I'm saying. The gilded grasshopper. So it says find the gilded grasshopper, but does it give me any point on my map? Oh no, I guess because I hadn't clicked on it. Okay, so here we go. Going up. Right over here outside of the USS Constitution, so Old North Church. Which, honestly, we should probably go and explore the Old North, North Church, because I don't think we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, my throat's not doing so well. Um, and so there are just a bunch of places that we should just explore. IMO, in my opinion. Opinionly. Dude, I, I'm telling you what, though. Dungeons and Dragons is the real thing. I've been thinking about warlocks, how they work in Dungeons and Dragons. I've got some pretty interesting opinions on those that nobody asked for, so I'll share. Um, <laughs> I, so warlocks, other than one ability, I feel are really underwhelming. And I have felt that since they came out. And the one ability is obviously Eldritch Blast. And other than Eldritch Blast, I feel like a lot of them are really... Really underwhelming. Calling the Silver Shroud. Calling the Silver Shroud. Okay, so I got a special delivery for you. Come he's... see me at the memory den. He's got another upgraded armor. Galaxy! Yeah. Radio. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I need to go this way. Hmm. Interesting. So, baseball. That doesn't look like a game where people... Don't mind. Stringy. Bony. Tasty, better than ramen or bark. Anything. <laughs> yep, not letting him blow me up. No, thank you. Oh, there they are. Someone there. Really? How did that do no damage? Why did it do no damage twice? Is gonna have a mini nuke. Oh, and 50 caliber. I should probably make this gun automatic. Mutant hound meat. I can cook that for experience. Yo, what? Oh my gosh. You missed both times. Had a 70% chance to hit. Still missed both times. Yeah, I'm gonna either have to make it automatic or it's not gonna be very useful for me. Bleed! Bleed and die! Okay, anybody else? Ooh, this looks nice. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. You know, I probably shouldn't have picked it up in hindsight. Skull faceplate. 
missile launch it. Launch it. A missile launch it. I don't remember killing. Okay. That made me uncomfortable for some reason, but the building has areas on both sides. So yeah, I think I'm going to make it a fully automatic, the combat rifle. And I'll probably switch the rounds around. I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of my weapons, and I'm just going to have the combat rifle. And then whenever I, I'll just carry the mods with me, and whenever I want to use a different ammo type, I'll just change it out for a different ammo type. Uh, what's that? A noise? Noise? Yeah. Hello, someone's acting. How are they not aware that I'm here? No fight today. I have. I got to double damage with a grenade. That's funny. What? it! Uh, I'd prefer if it didn't get it off. Get off. Prefer if you just died. Literally not moving. <laughs> I can't go through the wall. Like, this, is, this is one of those interesting times where it's like, is it, it, as someone in the real world, I could just climb over the desk, but... Uh, the the door's locked, so got it. So I can't. <laughs> Why is it that when I unbury an old stash of goods, the old stash of goods, like a, of like the bank, isn't pre-war money? It's bottle caps. <laughs> like they didn't keep money in bottle caps before the war. six rounds okay I guess there's really nothing down here worth going down here for I thought that was like a grenade bouquet or something but nope see like why were people stashing caps before no, you what? I got me mad! Man, these bathroom stalls, they don't make them like they you they don't make them like that anymore, let me tell you. Remember when bathroom stalls could take a hand grenade? I suffer for your arrogance. Ooh, legendary. Oh, still not gonna really be a threat. Like the beginning of the game. I did not need to use the Relentless Western Revolver refills your action points on a critical hit. It looks really cool. Uh, uses 44, just like Kellogg's pistol. The difference being Kellogg's pistol does the exact same thing, so they just look a little different. Evidently, I cannot shoot around that. I regret to inform anyone that had higher hopes for me, but I cannot shoot around that. Why can I not move? How did I get over encumbered? Hey. That's weird. 
Dude, dog meat. Dog meat. <laughs> How did I get over and cover? I mean, I guess it was just my junk, because that's all my stuff. Oh, right. I forgot to get rid of those. <laughs> okay. And next. I'm not going to go down eight, but I will go down junk. This is most of my weight. Why do I have all these tin cans? I don't understand. <laughs> Where did I pick up 52 tin cans? <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> what happened? Like, what, what happened? On what? I must have been looting something. Like, there's no way I just individually took the time to pick up 60 or 52 individual cans. Bottle caps. Thought that was an ammo container, it was just a chair. Okay. A lot of that could be cooked. Die now, human. Where is the... I don't know, man. Night vision, powerful sniper rifle. Really good pickup if I didn't already have better stuff. I hadn't gone over on this side, so let's do this. can get high on things like jet. Like, I'm just curious. Stupid little man. I explored over here. I believe... So, nope, I have not. Going up. Hmm. Third floor. Third floor. Just stand still! 
going up. Ground floor. I have, I want to say I have been here. Well, not in here specifically, but. Oh, oh, oh cashier's key. I saw, I, it was like, is that a mini? Quant, like a super small? Like the Minutemen uh, mod where it, they become minute men. Manager's terminal. Marketplace reports, week of 8-8. Weekly sales down 3% relative to last year. Merchants meeting focused on shoplifting. Crisis. Discussion. Discussed Fallon's proposal for protectrons and side projections to it. Society issued veto on historic preservation grounds. All merchants agreed to detailed inventory tracking to assess the scope of the problem. Evidently, there's a crisis problem with people stealing stuff, which makes sense, I guess. Uh, maybe this is when the riots were breaking out. Weekly sales up 11% due to Columbus Day holiday. Merchants inventory reports showed me showed net losses of $2,294 for the week, with 12 confirmed shoplifting incidents. Several merchants threatened to sue for breach of contract over security issues. Fallon's is prepared to withdraw immediately. Recommend moving forward with Protectron installation despite society objections. Society does not like the Protectrons. The Protectrons tend to be over the top and they tend to kill people. Weekly sales down 81% due to press coverage of the incidents. Seven deaths reported due to altercations with protectrons. Again, they tend to kill people, including five alleged shoplifters, one bystander, and Fallon's cashier. Disabled protectrons pending technical review. Merchants meeting canceled to avoid further media scrutiny. They were not doing well. Freedom Society minutes. September meeting. Meeting called to order J. Winthrop presiding. Road read minutes of August meeting, minutes approved 14 to 0. Motion to amend the society charter to emphasize historic preservation as primary mission over charitable activations. activities. Motion carried 923. Motion to consider merchants' proposal for protections to secure the whole hall marketplace. Objections raised on historic preservation ground. Motion failed 0 to 14. Motion to file suit against new owners of Old Corner Bookstore due to violations of historic preservation charter. Motion carried 14 0. Meeting adjourned. Over meeting. Meeting called to order J. Winthrop presiding. So it looks like they were suing people who weren't being working to preserve the area and then stop preserving the area. Report from Seawind. Legal action against Old Corner Bookstore. Report from Mayor's Office on all merchants dispute. Mayor insists that protection installation will proceed despite objections. So the mayor was forcing them to get the protections. Motion to allocate funds for Finnell Hall roof repairs. Motion carried 11 0 contractor to begin work next week. Meeting adjourned. Tour script. Established by Peter Fennell in 1742, Fennell Hall has been the civic heart of Boston for three centuries. The meeting hall has hosted speakers and debates from the first patriots to modern presidents, and Fennell Marketplace is an oasis of commerce in the center of Boston's modern business district. Please take the time to explore the building and visit our merchants. Those of you with an interest in fine art may appreciate the gilded grasshopper, which can be seen on the weather vane atop the oh, uh, cupola, so it's on the roof. Uh, the grasshopper we're looking for is. For those of you following the Freedom Trail, the next site on their trail would be the Revere House in North End. So, there's also the Freedom Trail here. Protectron Control. Nope. Not activating them. I mean, it'd be cool just to kill them, but... Well, somehow I, I just missed that. I am unstoppable. And evidently the elevator that came with that. Alright, so I'm going to go back up through here. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. Financial District. Oh my gosh, where did you come from, Super Me? <laughs> I mean, obviously you were a big threat, but you scared me. That was threatening. Did that say fancy hat? No, fancy hairbrush. Totally different. I hope I can jump back up here. I'm going to save. Oh, even if I can't, I guess I can jump down here. Okay, explored everything around here. Going this way, we go up here. Across the hall. Looks like the dog's like humping the thing. Maybe that's fun. Over here. Up. Lantern. Used oil can. Alright. And we're going up. I'm yelling timber. It's the opposite. It's the opposite direction. If it was, we're going down, we're yelling. But no, going up, yelling.
Whoa, that was really loud. Sorry about that, guys. I coughed when I was breathing out. It blew into my hand and into the mic, so a little crazy, crazy stuff there. You know, sometimes I look back on an old TV series. Hey, okay, so the Warlock, as I was talking about. D&D. So I like the Warlock. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of underwhelming, other than certain builds that you can do with it. Uh, mainly my favorite, the Cocaine Lock, which I think is funny. It's a Warlock Sorcerer that never does a long rest. They're just constant short rests. And in order to get rid of the exhaustion, uh, uses Greater Restoration, which is 100 gold pieces worth of... Marty Bone. A dirty black suit, but I don't want that. Oh, Marty was not... Marty was an interesting one. Anyway. Uh, and then you use 100 gold pieces worth of... Uh, diamond dust to get rid of the levels of exhaustion. And... That's way down. So it's called the Cocaine Lock. It's, it's like it's Perfect. cocaine. Gilded Grasshopper. 5 gold, 2 glass, 10 copper. Value 451. Read food for the grasshopper. L, M, N, O, A, B, C, D, E, F. Why? Am I the only one that does that? Reads the whole alphabet out loud to find something. Food for the grasshopper. Shem Drown made it May 25th, 1742. To my brethren and fellow grasshoppers, fell in ye year set, uh, 1753, 1755, November 13th, early in ye morning by a great earthquake by my old master above. Again, like to have met with utter ruin by fire by hopping timely from my public station, come of the came of the broken bones and much bruised, cured and fixed. Old master's son, Thomas Drown, June 28th, 1768, and though I will promise to discharge my office, yet I shall very as ye win, on the banks of the Charles, where forever rests Master Shem, there one can find life's worth. So on the banks of the Charles is uh, Master Shem. Find Shem's drowns grave. Okay, so it just tells me where it's at. It's behind the Pikmin Galley. Yeah, I am going to jump down, though, because there's part of the Freedom Trail here. Why does the sound keep going even after they're dead? That's Jacob. It's a scripted event. Did you find something? How much is my inventory right now? Three. So I'm doing fine there. What kind of ammo does this use? 45? Okay. Intruder. Identify yourself. Mean pastries? Sounds like a great place to eat. I was gonna accidentally click it, so I said nope out loud. So I got a dick myself. <laughs> Gross. That's a sword. I'm drowning sword. Target takes radiation damage. I don't even want to know why that is in reality like that. Silver bar. Copper bar. Silver bar. Copper bar, copper bar, and a gold bar. Fear not. Fear not. Though devil's iron makes this blade, only he who wields can make it wicked. Um, so, it was made out of uranium. That's what that's supposed to mean. Uranium was called the devil's stone. I think that's just the end of that. That quest there. 
interestingly enough. <laughs> That's, it's kind of an inconclusive event. Like, I wish I, I could go turn it in, but I guess not. Receptionist. Here's Robobrain. But yeah, no, so, so, I like the Warlock. Love him flavor-wise. Uh... I find that there's a lot of really interesting story components other than just I made a deal with a demon that people can do. Although for some reason everybody just wants to do the I made a deal with a demon. I find that really underwhelming and I don't even like, I don't know, more of a great old one person myself, but that's just me. All right, Buck, hey. there you are. Trade. Alright, uh, so that's actually, you know what, that's going to be it for this uh, this Let's Play, so thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, it helps out a great deal. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell notification button, so that way you're always updated on my future videos. And uh, make sure to comment with any games you guys would like to see me play in the future, so that way I can always be making sure to come up with the videos that you guys like. Uh, that said, I come out with new videos every day, so make sure to keep tuned in. That being said, LT out.